to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host of the most. So, do you remember the British couple? All right, so this is Charlie and Gail Anderson, and I know a lot of people are very forgetful. So, we put a face to the story so you know what we're talking about. All right, now hear the rest of this. That lost their lives in Jamaica because they were there to build their dream home and the story just became so horrible and horrific how they ended and all this other stuff they had been married for how many many years they had been married for decades built a beautiful life together right left England to come to Jamaica to live out the rest of their days to retire the woman herself Florence was actually British and Alfred was Jamaican and Alfred wanted to come back home to Jamaica, right? So after all these years, successful years, mind you, in the UK, they thought it was time to come home to Jamaica, build their dream home and live out their days happily. Well, things didn't go so good for them. This is a follow up to that story. And at the time when I did the story on this couple, I got contacted by their son and their son expressed to me how he felt about how I had done the video and he tell, told me that he watched uh, SoFlo TV all the time and so on and so forth and thank you and all that which I am very careful how I do these videos because it's somebody's family member it's their mother, their father, their sister, their brother sometimes I turn the story on its head because I'm trying to get to the bottom of it too so with no further ado what I'm going to do right now is give you an update because people have been asking you hear anything about what happened with the guy that they caught? What came of it? Was anybody tried and convicted? Was it solved? Well, as disappointing as this sounds, and I'm going to go into details and tell you why I am highly disappointed because I truly believe that this individual should have been charged for that. Right? So, the man who was initially held as a suspect in relation to the murder of the elderly British couple in Mount Pleasant, Portland, was granted bail on fraud-related charges when he appeared in the parish court on Tuesday. Saquino Farr. Now, I don't know if y'all remember when I did the video. I'm going to find that video and I'm going to pin it to the end of this video. I did multiple videos. But someone had sent me a link to his Facebook. And when I went over there, you know, there was a lot of flossing going on. And they're saying, so Flo, look at him, I floss out the people and money. Big party, big bottles of buy him, buy a couple bike and car and open up a bar. Give him girlfriend and all kind of something like that. And I took those pictures and I used them. Right? Let me just say from now that what also struck me was... His mother was their helper, meaning she had access to the interior of her, their house. You know, sometimes in certain parts of your house, you put things down where if you come visit me at my house, you don't go no further than my veranda or my front porch then. Or if we're on a back attack, upon the back veranda or back porch then. But those who you let into your house, even if you let into my house and you go so I'm gonna left and use the bathroom, you're still not gaining access to like my bedroom or certain drawers or certain closets where I keep certain things. His mom was their helper. So they gave his mom gainful employment with steady pay. That right there. So, Sakina Farr, a 24-year-old mechanic, was charged with seven counts of obtaining goods by means of false pretense and conspiracy to defraud. Now, remember, you know, this couple uh, made complaints, made a report to the police before, just before they got killed, that they were being, they were defrauded out of thousands of pounds. And at one point, they had to return to the UK to sort some things out because a lot of their money, their savings was gone. 
So parish judge Natalie Ebanks Miller granted this youth bail in the sum of $5 million. And guess what? Five mil. Had no problem paying it. As a condition of his bail, he is to report to the Rockford Police Station in Kingston daily and a curfew of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. That means he could leave his house as early as 5 a.m. And he has to be back in by deadline 7 p.m. That was also imposed upon him. He was employed at a auto parts dealership in Kingston at the time of his arrest. And he is scheduled to reappear in court on October 2nd. That was of 20. 18 then we had November December and we're in January and we haven't heard a thing Don't know if he reappeared in court don't know if it was pushed further to some other date that we have no clue about what's going on 74 year old Alfred Charlie they call him Anderson and his 71 year old wife Florence were found dead on June 22nd just days after filing a report with the police that more than eight million dollars had been stolen from their bank accounts just days after and he was found in possession of duplicate copies of their cards and other things their bodies were burnt while their house was set ablaze a post-mortem report later concluded that the couple had also been shot. Wow. Meanwhile, the police have remained mum. In other words, not saying a word in relation to their probe into the murder of the Andersons. To date, the police have not charged any suspect with the gruesome killing, which has attracted international attention with several damaging news reports being published in the UK. And as you remember, this had a lot of people saying stuff like, no nah, man, me not go back to Jamaica. And then you had a lot of other people saying stuff like, Okay, Jamaicans are dying every day in Jamaica, but as soon as somebody come from foreign and dead, then everybody are making nice about it and re, re, re. It caused a whole lot of discourse. It brought up a topic that needed to be addressed. Dialogue needed to be opened on it. It needed to be a discussion going on. Because at one point, we actually thought that it was what it looked like. I mean, Jamaica lost one returning resident. One returning resident was killed for every month of the year of, 27, of, of 2018. And on top of that, there was a month where I think about three of them were killed. Right? And yes, we've said it has to do with people that you deal with or they have dealt with or they were dealing with. And gave them access to a certain part of their life, which ended up costing them their life. But it makes it no less that it was, it happened in Jamaica and it happened, it was done by other Jamaicans. So politicians and others were break neck, breaking neck to establish that this isn't some random gunman walking down the street, just pick a house or just randomly stalk a returning resident. And to, to some extent, they do have a point. It wasn't that, that that was not the case. And when the story first broke, we thought that was the case until we started putting the dots together. That is why I said that this guy should definitely have been charged with this. And I don't think only he should have been charged. I think his mother had something to do with this as well call me wrong if you want to call me wrong and i hope one day
they can actually call into the show and say, yo, so flow when we go live. I me are the one where so and so and or is my son so and so and say something. But I guarantee you they won't. They're probably happy as hell they got away with murder. So that's what it is, man. That's the update. Sorry it couldn't have been a dashing update. Guy convicted and proof and this and that. This is what we're left with. Alright? The system gets five million dollars out of his pockets and he gets to walk. So in other words then, if you have enough to pay, sometimes you can't let, get let go. And, hmm, to the family of the victims, still no justice. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.